Can we look around in here? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Wow, this is packed. Dang, man, this is crazy. Lots yeah. So you must have bought everything gas and oil right. within like a 50 mile radius. Or 100 mile. No doubt. Yeah, my wife might call it hoarding, but I never thought that. <laughs> I just thought I was saving it from oblivion. Because a lot of this stuff disappeared, got scrapped. And if I could save it by collecting it, that's another benefit too. You know this sign's next level. I mean, the quality yeah, of this. Yeah, yeah. Can I pull this out? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. When I was a kid, Flying A was all over the place. So that was the that, stuff, that's, man. yeah, that was my favorite to look at, the graphics and everything. Yeah. Up into the 1960s, the winged A of Flying A gas was one of the most iconic logos and one of the most iconic brands. Where did you find this? North Carolina. No kidding. Yeah, yeah. So you were dry, you were on the road looking for stuff. I was on the road also if I was on vacation. I'd vacation in North Carolina and I'd drive 200 miles in a circle sometimes. Yeah. So these kids get in the car, they think they're going to the beach, and all of a sudden their beach day is interrupted because dad found a cool Coke machine. This yeah. sign's next yeah. level. I mean, yeah. Yeah. it's not mint condition. Yeah. No, it's not. But I mean, but... it's embossed, yeah. it's the flying A, yeah, the it's... wings coming yeah. off of the circle. I mean, yeah. this is... My eyes popped out when I saw that. Yeah, this yeah. is yeah. it. Yeah. So it was one of my favorite things. It took a long time to find that piece. Always wanted one of those signs. I used to see them before I could buy one. So I traveled hundreds of miles to get that, and I really, really liked that piece. Is this something you'd sell? I've never parted with anything. Never sold one thing, so. Never sold one thing? No, not one. I'm thinking when, when am I gonna, when am I gonna do it? And, and I never thought I'd come to this day, so I started thinking about it recently, and there's no better time. This is it, you know? This is it for you, yeah, this, this is the moment. Is it, yeah. What are you thinking on something like this? I don't know, um, what would you? Um. It's a prime piece, it's really beautiful. That's a, it is, it's awesome. I wanna throw a number out there that's gonna get his attention. 3,500. That was way more than I paid for it. I didn't expect that. It's like, wow. I think the retail on yeah, it's probably yeah. four to yeah. 42, 43. Yeah. So I can just see his brain working. Which one of your children do you get rid of first? I mean, what were you thinking? Around 36. He knew. He knew that sign. When you're giving something to somebody or parting with it, whatever, it be monetary or not, you want them to, to really like it. And, and I, I felt that. I love it, man. Seriously. Wow. I mean, yeah. thank you. Yeah. I know I know what it yeah. means. I never knew what it felt like to part with something. It felt so different. I wish I could have conveyed the emotion I felt at that moment. It felt like the start of something new. And it's funny, it started with that sign. I'm a collector yeah. myself. Yeah. When you let something like this go. It's been a lot of years. I know, man. I know. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I appreciate you. you. What do you value this at? 1500 How about nine? About 1000 950 So, yes. Are we doing it? Sam is the only collector in his family. He doesn't have a whole lot of people to share this with, to talk about this with. This one's rough. Right. But it's still cool, man. I mean, how long have you had this? Where'd you get this? 20 years ago in uh, Hillsdale, New Jersey. So it wasn't far. Did you dig it out of the ground? No, I found it behind a gas station. A guy had it, and I saw it from the train one day. Really? Yeah. You never know where the next one's gonna hit you, man. No. You got that radar. Mm -hmm. There's the money shot right yeah, there. Yeah, I really wanted the Pegasus. I don't have a Pegasus, never had one, and they were always out of reach. This was a way for me to have almost a Pegasus. 500 bucks. Yes. Okay, here we go. It's a mobile pile. So to have two people, even strangers, come onto his property and geek out with him over all of his cool memories. Texaco. I took it off the pole. The pole was laying down. I couldn't yeah. take the pole because it was too big. I know. I would have loved to have I've the been pole. There. It was at the Hobo Deli. I remember that. <laughs> Eight? Nine. 850? 850. <laughs> All right, you gonna help me get it out of there? Yeah. That's why we collect, so that we can talk to people about it, so that we can feel other people's excitement as well. It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads, it's dumpster diving, it's flea markets, it's people's homes.